Hello there. Are you ready for another murder mystery? Do you like my British accent? Probably not. It needs some work, in fairness. I should probably stop, but it's really quite addictive. Sorry. Um, let's get into Sherlock. <laughs> Sorry to all of my fellow Brits. I just love your accent, okay? I can't replicate it that well. I know with mine is garbage, I'm trying. My accent's so annoying. I want a cool accent. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Thank you so much for being here and welcome if you're new. Today, we are diving on into Sherlock season two. The last season ended on a very fun cliffhanger. We aren't really sure what's gonna happen between Moriarty and Sherlock and Watson. Is he gonna shoot the bomb? Is it gonna go off? Is he gonna kill Moriarty or is he gonna let him go? I don't really know. I mean, it's, it's, it's a mystery. The last season did fly by pretty quickly, I feel like. We didn't really get too much of these characters. It was really just three different mysteries that all kind of tied together by the end, or at least two of them tied together by the end. We didn't really get that much in the last season. It flew by pretty quickly. We just had three episodes, and that's how it's gonna be for this season as well. If I had to guess, I'd assume that um, Moriarty's not gonna die, at least in the beginning of this show, because I feel like that would be such an anticlimactic way to start the season. He's like this really ominous puppet master figure, and it's more interesting to leave him around. So that's kind of my guess, but I'm really just excited to get on into this and see what this season is like. I'm really enjoying the witty, fast-paced humor so far. I really like the dynamic between Sherlock and Watson, and I'm excited to see that develop. But at this point, I'm still kind of getting attached to these characters and still kind of figuring them out and seeing what their dynamics are like. A lot of people have also mentioned to me that there's a connection between the show House and this show, or at least Sherlock Holmes as a character. I know House takes a lot of inspiration from that character. It's interesting because that was not something I knew when I got into House, but it does make a lot of sense. I mean, he even has that character. Oh God, what's the name of the character that's like a Watson-esque figure in House? I used to be obsessed with House. Like I wasn't that deep into it where I had seen every episode, but basically anytime there was a TV marathon of the show House, I could watch that all Sunday long. Like I, that was one show that I did see a lot of growing up. It was just so addictive. I never got over it. Something about it is like weirdly comforting. I don't know. Winston, Winston's his name. Yes, yeah, even it even parallels off of the name Watson and House even par parallels off of the name Holmes. Okay, it's all making sense now. Anyway, that was a tangent, but I am really excited to dive on into this show. I don't have too much to say. I've really been enjoying the music and the editing and the quirkiness. Um, the show definitely has a very quirky, fun, captivating feel to it, despite the darker, suspenseful things being explored. It's very quirky and light in moments, but then really like dark and intense in others. And I do really enjoy that playful feeling that it has. And I'm just curious to see what they do with this next season and how the story unfolds. So without any further ado, I think it's time to grab a drink, grab a snack, and let's get into Sherlock. Not like that. Okay? Just... No, bad. Is that his phone? Staying alive. Uh. Do you mind if I get that? Oh no, please. Uh, do you mind if I get that? He looks annoyed. Yes, of course it is. What do you want? He's so annoyed. Again. Jesus Christ. Sorry. Sorry. Wrong day to die. You'll be hearing from me, Sherlock. Oh my God. All because of that phone call. I like that his phone, his ringtone is staying alive. It's so ironic. Someone changed his mind. Question is, who? Yeah, who? Well now, have you been wicked, your highness? That was her. Yes, Adler. Miss Adler, she's a dominatrix. Real quick, before we get into the rest of the video, let's have a word from today's sponsor, Harry's. I've been using Harry's razors and shaving gel for many years now, and I'm always super excited to get to work with them. Not only do they make 
the best razors that I've ever used. They're insanely top quality, but also their prices are tough to beat. That's because Harry's has their own factory based in Germany where they've been making blades for 100 years. There, they can make their own products in-house and then sell them to you at a competitive factory direct price. While other companies are upcharging and adding a pink tax to products geared at women, Harry's is offering a fair price for everyone. Before trying Harry's years ago, I used to struggle with rough shaves and blades that would dull super quickly. Since switching to Harry's though, I haven't had that problem. My shaves are always super smooth now and the blades last way longer than they used to. Seriously, I don't even struggle with nicks and cuts anymore and that was something I used to struggle with all the time because I am a super clumsy person. I also love that their shaving gel comes with soothing ingredients like aloe and cucumber, so my skin is always feeling silky smooth and hydrated after each shave. To try out Harry's for yourself, just click the link in my description to buy a Harry's trial set for $5. That's a $13 value for just $5. Thank you so much to Harry's for sponsoring this video and thank you guys as always for listening to the sponsor. Now with all that being said, let's get back into the video. Visa! He refused. He's so stubborn. Just put the clothes on. Oh my God. That's hilarious. Two streets away, but this'll do. For what? Punch me in the face. Why? I always hear punch me in the face when you're speaking, but it's usually something. <laughs> oh! oh! Why are we doing this? That was, that was that. Oh He's doing it again. <laughs> I love John. I love him. I've never done that, John. Do you want to remember, sir? I was a soldier. I killed people. You were a doctor. I had bad days. I had bad days. <laughs> what are you going to wear? My battle dress. Ba they're both going into battle. I don't think Kate caught your name. I'm so sorry. I I'm. Her battle dress is just being naked. What the f? Her, her battle dress is being naked. Oh my God, what a power play. She loves a power play. Sit down. Oh, if you'd like some tea, I can call the maid. I had some at the palace. I know. Clearly. Mm hmm. She wasn't expecting John, huh? <laughs> I had a tea too at the palace, if anyone. <laughs> I love him so much. Oh, he can't figure anything out about her because she's naked or? <sighs> Is he doing that on purpose? Thank you. On hearing a smoke alarm, a mother would look towards her child. Oh, John is so smart. John is so smart. Oh, sh Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> He's so polite. I really am a simp for John. I love him. He got it. Thank you, Mr. Holmes. Open it, please. Who the f are these guys? Vatican cameos. Vatican cameos. Oh, it's a booby trap. He noticed her smile, maybe, and he knew it was going to be a booby trap. What the f Who is this woman? Because she called Moriarty, I'm pretty sure. She was the one calling Moriarty, so. You were very observant. Observant? And flattered. Don't be flattered. Flattered. He's like, what, what is happening? Do you like him? Nobody ever likes him. What's going on? Uh-oh, you should keep an eye on her. What is that? What? Sherlock, what's wrong with you? She literally just said she'd kill before she'd let you take the phone and you weren't keeping your eyes on her. What is wrong with you? You're so cocky. I said what? Oh, sh just demolished him. Uh... Huh? <laughs> what the f She's texting him now? Like playing with her food, my God. Uh-oh, Mrs. Hudson, is she okay? <laughs> Mrs. Hudson, no, no. <laughs> and he wasn't there. What is going on in this episode? There's so much happening. Oh, she's up there, okay, she's not dead. It's the Americans, it's for the phone. I'm unarmed. Mind if I check? Oh, I insist. I insist, please do. <laughs> Wow, holy shit. he just headbutt knocked him out. That's wild. That guy was so dumb to just immediately do what Sherlock wanted. 
No, it's the, uh, it's the burglar. He's got himself rather badly injured. Oh, He fell out of a window. Oh! He's gonna f***ing... That was right on my bins. <laughs> I think your bins are gonna be fine, Mrs. Hudson. And exactly how many times did he fall out of a window? I sort of a bit of a blur, Detective Inspector. Oh, he fell out more than once, huh? My God, he is a psychopath. <laughs> I love that though, he only did that because he hurt Mrs. Hudson and that pissed him off. Where is it anyway? Safest place I know. You left it in the pocket of your second best dressing gown, you clot. <gasps> she had it the whole time? Mrs. Hudson. So she's alive then. Yeah, we gonna talk about it? <laughs> Happy New Year, John. Do you think you'll be seeing her again? Oh! Some tension in the relationship. Some jealousy, but like in a cute way. Like, I think, you know, John's jealous in the way that like a lot of best friends are jealous when they're protective of their friend. And we texted back. She loves to play games. She does? Nope. Two attempts remaining. Holy <laughs> If he fails the la like the last attempt, he'll get locked out completely. It's interesting that she wears like a supposed It's not working. No, wedding. because it's a duplicate that I had made into which you've just entered the numbers 1058. He double crossed her. <laughs> ah! She double crossed him. I told you that camera phone was my life. I know when it's in my hand. Ah! Oh my God, these two are too much. Watson is over here just like, what the f Press a girl. Everything's slowing down. He's gonna figure it out. He's thinking at high speed. She kissed him, what the There's a margin for error, but I'm pretty sure there's a 747 leaving Heathrow tomorrow at 6.30 in the evening for Baltimore. Apparently it's gonna save the world. Not sure how that could be true, but give me a moment. I don't even know the case for eight seconds. I would have you right here on this desk until you begged for mercy twice. <laughs> John, please can you check those flight checks? We'll see if I'm right. Uh-huh. He's just so awkwardly here. I never beg for mercy in my life. Twice. Twice! <laughs> oh, she's texting. <gasps> Who's she texting? She's manipulating him. She playing games. Moriarty, uh-huh. Uh-huh. She's using him. I forgot about the call to Moriarty. I totally forgot. He's smitten and she's using him. One lonely, naive man desperate to show off and a woman clever enough to make him feel special. You need to screen your defense people more carefully. I'm not talking about the MOD man, Sherlock. I'm talking about you. I'm surprised he didn't get that. He didn't, he really doesn't suspect her. He's so ob oblivious. Mr. Holmes, I think we need to talk. So do I. There are a number of aspects I'm still not quite clear on. Not you, Junior, you're done now. Ah, oh, wow. She was just using you, bruh. I can't take all the credit. Had a bit of help. Uh-huh. Uh, Jim Moriarty. Yeah. Himself. Yeah. I'm surprised she revealed that. Is he piecing something together because of that connection? Nicely played. No. She shouldn't have revealed the Jim Moriarty connection. Very, very close, but no. Very close. You don't actually think I was interested in you. Because you're the great Sherlock Holmes, the clever detective in the funny hat. No. Because I took your pulse. Oh, that's what he was doing. He only did that to t take her pulse. Oh my God. He truly is so asexual. I was just playing the game. I know. And this is just losing. I am sh- Feeling kind, lock her up, otherwise let her go. I doubt she'll survive long without her protection. Are you expecting me to beg? Yes. Yeah, you're 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 the sub now, babe. You're not the dom anymore. Mm-hmm. Grovel. You're right. Get on your knees, I won't even last six months. Sorry about dinner. Oh my God. Okay, the fact that she made the password sure, like I am sure locked, that's so cheesy. She's so corny. She, I thought she was cool. She's so corny. She whipped, she was whipped. She's dead. She was captured by a terrorist cell in Karachi two months ago. Really? Headed. No way. Really? I, 
I somehow don't believe she's dead, but... Oh, she sent... That was her last thing she ever did. Oh, wow, no, it really was her. She was thinking about him in the very end. That's crazy. Well, I say run. Run. The woman. Oh, my God. These two are, like, meant for each other. What the f***? This is a match made in hell. <laughs> but like, but like heaven also. Who's running? What the f ah! <laughs> Jesus Christ, it's like a horror. What's eating him? Is that the kid's dad? Is it like a bear? The poor kid? A dog? Is that Stonehenge? What the f Where? No, that's not Stonehenge. Did he just wake up in the woods like where it happened? Cause like obviously that was a flash forward to him being older. Is that just him having a nightmare on the couch? That part doesn't change. Oh, with his therapist. How crazy would it be if the therapist works for Baskerville, like works for the facility? Like, I, I don't know, I don't trust the therapist. Maybe that's just my own issues though. <laughs> Did they get permission to come on to the site? Who gave them permission? Oh no, they're just pulling up to the, oh, they're trying, I see. That's specific to this place. It's my brother's, it's brother's access side. all areas. I um, <clears throat> acquired it ages ago, just in case. Uh-huh, acquired it, mm-hmm. He stole it! Captain John Watson, fifth Northumberland. He's giving his real name. Ah! Well, oh, he was a, oh right, he was in the military. We'll need a full tour right away, carry on. That's an order, Corporal. Yes. <gasps> He was, he's a natural. That's amazing. He's like, okay, how much time do I have until they realize it? <laughs> oh, no. So what exactly is it that you do here? I thought you'd know, sir. Hmm? Yeah, it's a bold question to ask. Well, I'm not an expert, am I? Everything from stem cell research to trying to cure the common cold, sir. He acts so confident in like the questions he's asking too. Um, John. So sexy. I love it when he's authoritative and confident. <laughs> Bad. I have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. Who are you? Oh, time to go. Well, I think we've seen enough for now, Corporal. Thank you so much. That's it. That, that was it. Dude, we're really getting Mycroft in so much trouble. Oh, Mycroft. ID unauthorized, sir. What? I've just had the call. Is that right? Who are you? Uh-oh, they almost got out. Clearly not Mycroft Holmes. Computer error, Major. It'll all have to go in the report. What the hell's going on? <laughs> He's still acting so confident. Mr. Holmes here isn't someone I expected to show up in this part. Uh, well, Good to see you again, Mycroft. Wow. He's helping them. On your head be it. <gasps> Dr. Franklin. <laughs> okay, Franklin, thank you. Maybe I shouldn't have been sus of this guy. It was just because he recognized him. He was staring at him a lot. Oh, please, can we not do this this time? Do what? You being all mysterious with your cheekbones and turning your what? coat collar up so you look cool. <laughs> you know, they really do interact like they're a couple. <laughs> I understand the confusion. Stop doing that thing with your cheekbones. Do you as hollow? Yeah, I will say that's pretty creepy looking. Like beautiful, but creepy. Oh, John, something gonna happen to you. It's a psych out, there's gonna be a jump scare. Oh my God. You hear it, but you don't see it. Did he see it? Maybe he did see it, but we just didn't see it. Did you see it? Yeah, he did, he's freaking out. Hear that? We saw it. Oh, good. Whew. We saw it. No, I didn't see anything. What? What? what are you talking about? I didn't see anything. He can't explain it with logic, huh? So he's kind of, is he saying, is he in denial that he saw it? Dude, he sleeps in a room. Oh no, he's on his living room couch. I was gonna say, is his bedroom just exposed glass windows? That's horrifying. I mean, I still kind of would hate to have this like exposed. Glass, uh, 
Close your blinds, man. I'm terrified of your... He's watching a, a movie about wolves? Like, oh my God. Motion sensor lights? Oh, Henry. 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 Henry, just, just don't open the door, Henry, please. Get away from the glass. It's taunting you, Henry. Go lock yourself in like a panic room, okay, babe? No, get away from the, oh my God. Why do you need to be kissing the glass? No. <laughs> Holy shit. did that thing act, did he actually see it or is he hallucinating? I've got a theory, but I need to get back into Baskerville to test it. Oh, well, good luck with that. Hello, brother dear. We're calling Mycroft now. Yeah, I'm sure he would be eager to help you after what you just did. Wow, they really are gonna let us back in? Oh, lights are being turned off. We're gonna spend the night here. We get 24 hours. Spend the night in this facility. It's like a horror game. Man, he's just been given access to everything. It's crazy. Keep out! Unless you want a cold? So he's gonna get sick. Oh my God. See, being affected by the gases. The alarm's blaring. Everything is so overstimulating. Whoa. Denied? What's happening? Oh, John. Oh, John, they're coming for you. I'm scared. What is it? Oh my God, the sound design for this episode is so terrifying. What the? This is such a scary episode. John, get in the cage. Get in the cage, John. Get in the cage. Watch it be like a bunny or like a fake out and then a real jump scare. Oh, that's not a bunny. Yeah, he's going in the cage. I knew it. That's what I said. Get in the cage. Just get in the cage. It's him. Are you all right, John? Jesus Christ, it was down. Is it something to do with the gases? It's not okay! I saw it! It's something to do with the gases, isn't it? Do the gases make you hallucinate? And maybe there's gases being released in the more. You have been drugged. Drugged! Yes! Yes! They're hallucinating! But why are they all hallucinating the same thing? That's crazy. How did it get into our systems? How? Maybe it's it's a gas that's being released in a, in the in that specific part of that the hollow that John didn't go in. Get out. What? Get out. I need to go to my mind palace. My mind palace. In dia in gestad in diem wolfhound Ooh. hound dog. <laughs> you ain't nothing but hound dog. <laughs> Oh God, please tell me this is a dream and he's not actually running out in field with a gun. I am so sorry. I am so sorry. He's so tormented. Holy <laughs> What is wrong with him? God, something is so wrong with this man. I feel bad. Okay, I'm not sus of the therapist anymore. The therapist is just a normal therapist. The only one I'm sus of now is actually Franklin. I think it's Franklin. I think Franklin did it. So sorry, Dad. Oh no. Oh no. No, 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 no. It's gonna be okay. No, no, no. Get back, get, get away from me! Easy. It wasn't an animal, was it, Henry? Not a monster, a man. What, Franklin's gonna show up, isn't he? He's got to. Ew, he sees it now, with a gas mask on. Oh, red glowing eyes. Cause there was a chemical being released here. Oh, and he was wearing the shirt, so he was, that's why it was suggested to his brain. But there never was any monster. No f way. This doesn't make sense. Right, he is not drunk, Sherlock, so what's that? <laughs> what is it? Oh, it's still here. Are we being drugged in the hollow? Is it, guys, there's a lot of fog around us. Is it chemical warfare? Yeah, see? It's the chemicals. No. no. Oh, he's seeing Moriarty. It's guys, it's the drugs here in the hollow. It was him, there he is. 
Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. Guys, I feel like I figured this out before Sherlock this time. Project Hound, it's the fog, a chemical minefield. I literally called it with the hollow. Yeah, it's fake, guys. It's fake. Oh my god, can we stop seeing this fake dog? He's getting away! Guys, we don't need to shoot the imaginary dog anymore. Oh no. He's running into a minefield. Oh no. Oh, Franklin. Man, so the, that that really is a minefield. Like those mines aren't even buried, bro. <laughs> like they're, they're just right out in the open, ready to go. It was nice of him to not uh, wait for them all to catch up and then kill them with him. Like I feel like a guy like that would have waited to kill them along with him, you know, so that no one could tarnish his name, you know? But it's very considerate of him to just go out alone. Why today? Oh, is he in therapy? Do you know why I'm here? What? Why? I don't know. Tell me. Tell I'm me. I'm here because... Oh. Sure. <gasps> what happened to Sherlock? No. You need to get it out. No! What happened? No, are they gonna cut? Sherlock. No. He's dead. No, he's not. No, he's not. He's not dead. There's no way because we have two more seasons, but that is an epic way to start this final episode. I'm sure that Watson thinks Sherlock is dead. Who's this? Moriarty or somebody else? Crown Jewels, ha. Ah. Yeah, it's him. Look at him in a little tourist <laughs> London hat. Oh my God. He's a big fan of the costumes, this one. Sir, I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. He just sprayed the guy. Get Sh Sherlock, huh? That's totally what he's writing. Yep, get Sherlock. Diamonds. What? What's the point of that? Is it a bomb diamond? What, what, what is the point of putting the diamond in the gun? Or the gum? Is it gonna explode? I feel like it's about to explode or something. It can't just be a regular diamond. Oh no, he's just gonna break it with a fire hydrant. Is that how cheap the glass is? Wow, so... He when he was dressed up like a king in the thumbnail for this episode, he was wearing the crown jewel. <laughs> That's actually so funny. See, this is all his intention. Like, he's gonna make Sherlock work on this case. Oh! He's just sitting right there! No rush. <laughs> okay, he wasn't trying to get anywhere. I was like, how's he gonna get out? I was saying his whole intention is gonna be to get Sherlock in the press one more time, because he, he did threaten he would, like, ruin him, you know? Come and play, Tower Hill, Jim Moriarty. Oh, he willingly got himself arrested. And now it's gonna be all over the news and it says, get Sherlock, get Sherlock, get Sherlock. Moriarty is such a, a madman. He's such a wild card. Like I never would have guessed that he would have just gotten himself arrested. I also feel like I've never seen anyone wear a tie clip like that vertically and I kind of love it. <laughs> He's got drip. <laughs> would you mind slipping your hand into my pocket? Oh no, what's in his pocket? He's so creepy. Ew. Ew. I never would do that in a million years, never. Ew, if it was gum, I would just, you know what I would do? I would chew it. <laughs> no, I wouldn't, because that's actually nasty and I don't trust it. If it was all wrapped up, maybe I would. You've entered a plea of not guilty. Nevertheless, my client is offering no evidence. The defense rests. Wow. <laughs> that face, he just looks like, oops. Yeah, I don't need it. I don't need any. Oh, oh weird, huh? <laughs> Not guilty. Yep. Found him not guilty. Yep. No defense and Moriarty's walk free. Yep. No way. Is it him? No way. Why does he have to walk like that? May I? Please. Oh my God. Oh my God. This is so funny. Oh, yep. He's got to take the other seat. Of course. Because we're just alike, you and I. Except you're boring. <laughs> I do think they have a lot of similarities. I don't think Sherlock is boring. <laughs> Every hotel bedroom has a personalized TV. No way. That's how he did it. He threatened them all, yep. What if somebody decided not to watch TV? It's gonna start very soon, Sherlock. Oh God, what? The fall. Oh, the Reichenbach fall? Falling's just like flying, except there's a more permanent destination. Oh my God, the, 
editing of that was so creepy to show him whistling and while he was still speaking underneath. He's so creepy! I owe you. Uh-oh. Jesus Christ. How does somebody look like intimidating, but also like there's nothing go like that almost looks like there's nothing going on behind his eyes, but at the same time, it's like a it's like an apathy. I oh you. <laughs> it's like a, a general disgust and apathy for the world, but also it looks like a black pit of nothingness and despair. <laughs> He's so creepy. PGPR. What's that? It's used in making chocolate. Well, we gave him a lot of candy. When? Right now? Oh, that's all we've given them is candy to survive? Hurry up, they're dying. So candy's the only thing they can, oh God, that's horrible. That's a way to die faster. It's just like, it'd be better to fast. Sugar's gonna make you thirstier. Mercury. What? The papers, they're painted with mercury, oh. lethal. No! No. I don't know they got the more they ate. Oh no. Neat. That's not neat, Sherlock. It's f***ed up. Can you have some empathy? Oh my God. Oh, mercury poisoning. They're, they're done, man. Claudette, I... No, no, I know it's been hard for you, Claudette. Listen to me. Get out! Whoa. Oh my God. They, they did something to scare them of Sherlock. I don't know what. Brilliant work you did, finding those kids from just a footprint. It's really amazing. Thank you. Unbelievable. Oh, is he being framed for this now? My God, cause, cause she doesn't trust him. She's never trusted him. So now she thinks that he, all the, Oh my God, this is like the thing that's gonna be set up by Moriarty. We're gonna ruin him by saying like, oh, he committed this crime, framing him for this, insinuating that every crime he's ever solved, he's like been connected to, and that's how he knew how to solve it. That would be the perfect way to like ruin his name. You're not seriously suggesting he's involved, I think we have to entertain the possibility. Oh, Lestrade, he looks so hurt by the idea. Looks a bit of a weirdo if you ask me. Often are, these vigilante types. What are you looking at? All right, sir. She, he punched him. <laughs> <laughs> John! John! I love John! He's such a ride or die. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, will you all please get on your knees? <sighs> no! Would be good! Do as he says! Jesus Christ. So what now? Doing what my heart wants. Becoming a fugitive. Run. Oh God. I love how they're literally handcuffed together like a couple. It's so cute. <laughs> Take my hand. Just hold hands and run. Yes, there you go. <laughs> now people will definitely talk. I love that they leave the gun. Oh my God. Oh my God, this is so cute. <laughs> Molly. Really? You're wrong, you know. Oh, Jesus. We have to scare her? Molly, I think I'm going to die. Is it all a plan? He's not really going to die, but he's got to kill his... Do you still want to help? Identity, maybe? What do you need? You. Oh, shit. What? Oh, my God. What is it? Paramedics. Mrs. Hudson, she's been shot. What? How? What? Probably one of the killers you managed to attract. Jesus. Jesus. She's dying, Sherlock. Let's go. You go. I'm busy. Busy? It's it's not true, huh? She's not dying. So this. You stay here if you want on your own. Alone is what I have. Alone protects me. Nope. Friends protect people. I feel like this is a fake fight. I feel like that fight was totally fake because like they knew Moriarty was coming. That had to have been a fake fight. Watson is a ride or die for Sherlock. And like, that was a really quick fight. I just can't imagine. What? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> what, a, what, a, what a choice. <laughs> He's so quirky. He's a very quirky villain. I do like him. Did you almost start to wonder if I was real? I have a feeling he's just gonna like yeet himself off the roof and be like, oh, Sherlock pushed him. <laughs> like, I just have a feeling something crazy is gonna happen. I don't know. One final act. Glad you chose a tall building. Oh no. Nice way to do it. 
Do it. Do do what? Don't say do what. Sherlock, don't do that. He's gonna stage a murder. My suicide. No, maybe his murder. To prove to be a fraud. Oh. It in the paper, so it must be true. Oh. Oh right, cause oh right, cause he dies. Right. Please. You're just getting that now. <laughs> Sherlock, throwing him off the roof is not gonna help. Your friends will die if you don't. What? John. Not just John. Everyone. Everyone! Sorry, I'm thinking that. Everyone. <laughs> Gary Oldman meme. Everyone! Go on. No way. Uh-uh. I told you how this ends. No way. John's gotta save him. Come on, John. There's no way Sherlock's gonna die. What does he come up with? What does he come up with? What's he come up with? <laughs> what? What? He doesn't like that. Oh no, he's like, why are you laughing? Wait a minute. What did I miss? Yeah. Oh, look at how happy he is. There's a pep in his step. So the killers can be called off, then there's a recall code or a word or a number. Mm hmm. Maybe he already called off the killers. You think you can make me stop the order? You think you can make me do that? Yes. Oh? Why? How? Sherlock, your big brother and all the king's horses couldn't make me do a thing I didn't want to. I love how Moriarty was circling him before when he had thought he had the power, and now Sherlock's circling him. They just love to circle each other. As long as I'm alive, you can save your friends. You've got a way out. Well, good luck with that. <laughs> yep. He's crazy. He's crazy. Is he gonna jump off the roof? Oh my god! No way. But, but he, he, he asked for help from Molly, and Molly works with dead bodies. Are we gonna stage his death? I can't believe this. How is Molly gonna play all into this? Hey Sherlock, you okay? Turn around and walk back where you came. No, I'm coming in. Just do as I ask. Oh. Please. Oh. Sherlock. Okay, look up, I'm on the rooftop. Uh -huh. It's all true. No, it's not. I invented Moriarty. Is he saying all this to like, cause he thinks it'll make it easier for John? What is he? Why are you saying this? Yeah, it's John still knows it's not true. I want you to tell Lestrade. I want you to tell Mrs. Hudson and Molly. God, I'm getting emotional even though I'm not in, I'm in disbelief that he's gonna die. Goodbye, John. No, you're gonna make him watch? No, what? Oh my God, are we gonna have a cliffhanger moment of him jumping off the roof? You made him watch? What? Who was the cyclist who knocked him down? What is going on? This can't be real. This can't be real. Please, let me just... Has he been drugged? Or has he just got hit really hard? Oh, it's, is it not him? It can't, I'm. Jeez, no. Is it him? I'm so, it is, it is him. What? Yeah, what the fuck? I'm so confused. I can't believe this. I'm, I literally can't believe this. God, John doesn't even look like he's that much of a mess. He's just like in shock. Like he's gone back to like military PTSD. Oh, the snipers pulled out. They did. It was the only way to protect him. I'm so confused. I like want to cry because I know there's more seasons. I'm like refusing to cry. I'm angry. Yeah. All the marks on my table and the noise and the fighting drove me up the wall with all his carryings. Yeah, listen, I, I, I'm not actually that angry. Okay. <laughs> the most British response. I take it back. I don't want to talk about feelings. <laughs> Let me tell you this. You were. The best man, uh, the most human, human being that I've ever known, and no one will ever convince me that you told me a lie, and so. Yeah, he's such a ride or die, man. Everybody needs a John. He's like, he's like the definition of loyal. I was so alone, and I owe you so much. Molly had to have helped him. I can't believe that he's dead, but I'm still getting baited into crying. Look, please, there's just one more thing. Mate. One more thing, one more miracle, Sherlock, for me. Don't be dead. Oh. Just for me. Just stop it. Stop this. 
It's funny because I think he actually can, but like, I don't know how. I mean, like we watched him jump off a building. <sighs> oh, he just turned like a military man. Oh, that was so sad. Jesus Christ, man, I have no tissues here. Is he watching behind a tree? God damn it. I knew my tears were just in vain. Oh my God. I feel like I've been manipulated. <laughs> Like I knew it didn't make sense for him to be dead. And I knew him asking Molly for a favor had to mean something, but I still got baited because like, I hate seeing Martin Freeman sad. <laughs> I had to go touch up my makeup because I had like cried so much off of my nose <laughs> and like under eye area. I, had, I needed a little bit of a break after that. I knew, I was aware that I was being manipulated that entire time. I knew there's no way Sherlock could die. I mean, I think having the hindsight of watching this show years after it's been released and knowing how many seasons there are definitely helps in knowing whether or not a certain character is gonna be fine. So I definitely have that advantage. Cause I think if I was watching the show more in real time and I didn't know for a fact that there was gonna be another season or, or two after, I might think, oh, maybe like the show really is ending here because I haven't read all these books. So I don't really know exactly what happens with Sherlock Holmes as a character. But even still knowing that he was gonna die, I still fell prey to all of the sadness. I think it's just, I can't watch a character like Watson played, especially played by Martin Freeman, get all sad and mourn and cry without crying myself. It's just too painful to watch. Like I, I empathize too much with him. So I was definitely manipulated, but the show was a lot of fun. This final episode was a great way to wrap up the character of Moriarty too. I really like the way that things unfolded because it really showed like how smart of a character Moriarty is and how far ahead he's thought through this gigantic puzzle, how thorough it is and how Sherlock is not going to be able to s escape defamation and destruction of his integrity and his stature in society. Moriarty's really thought through everything so perfectly, but I also like the little moment you know, probably somewhere around two thirds of the way into the episode where you see Sherlock is having a really tough time. And when he finally does go to Molly and he does ask for her help, that's a little fun moment to look back on because it shows that he really was just smarter just a touch smarter than Moriarty because he knew there was no way he could get out of this web that Moriarty had spun. He knew the game was over and he was going to have to stage his own death or at least make it look very believable like he did die. But in doing so, he was still able to trick Moriarty into taking his own life. You know, he didn't let Moriarty get away with it. He could have, he could have, but he found a way to trick Moriarty into actually ending his own life. I mean, he did look pretty surprised when that happened. Maybe he really didn't think Moriarty would necessarily take it that far. Maybe he thought there was a way out of jumping off of the building, but regardless, he did force his hand and I admired that. I think the way this whole episode played out, you could really see how smart both of these characters are. I love the way that Andrew Scott plays around with his quirks as a character. His delivery is just so interesting and so off kilter. And sometimes I've seen villains in certain movies or shows play something in a really like over the top, I'm crazy kind of way where, you know, they're definitely operating in a different realm of reality. And sometimes it feels a little bit too hammy, a little bit too over the top, and it doesn't feel rooted in anything. But I think Andrew Scott did a good job because he he always kind of had this pit of complete and total apathy and disgust in his eyes that almost felt like just total disinterest in everything around him. And that does play to him as a character. Like he always says he's bored. He's just bored of these ordinary people. And whenever he gets bored with Sherlock, it comes in and then there's moments where his eyes come to life. There's a spark in them. And it's whenever Sherlock is playing the game in a way that maybe he didn't expect him to. Too. That's that's typically when that flash comes back for him. But a lot of the time he just looks like he is somewhere else, but he's like in a black hole somewhere. It's hard to explain, but he does a really great job in his acting performance, specifically with his eyes. I, I definitely liked a lot of his choices 
for the character. And you can tell a lot of the people who make this show have just had a lot of fun, especially with the editing, with the sound design, the cinematography. Definitely feel like this show is like really being quirky, trying to tell its own story with the cinematography, with the choreography of certain shots, with the framing of certain shots. Things are just very off kilter and very unique. And it does feel a lot of the time like we are either in Sherlock's head or things feel more uncertain based off of the way a camera is set up. Uh, I really do like that a lot. I can't believe Mycroft was the one that was kind of his brother's own undoing. And that Molly is was so important in this episode. I mean, I'm kind of happy because, you know, she's just not been getting any respect. So I'm glad Sherlock finally realized like, yeah, actually she's maybe like a real one to keep around even just as a friend. I'm so curious to see what they do with the next season because, you know, clearly everyone but Molly presumably thinks he's dead and his career and his reputation are completely ruined. So I just don't know where this show is gonna go. I mean, you know who else is dead? Is, is the woman, I forget her name already. Irene Adler, right, that was her name. She's also dead, so maybe her and Sherlock can hang out again. I think it'd be funny if we like start the next season and Sherlock is like living with Molly. That would just be so funny to me. I mean, poor Molly, like <laughs> it wouldn't be funny for her, but <laughs> I just feel like that would be a fun little thing to explore. Like he hasn't left London, he's still in London. He's just living with Molly. <laughs> laying low, trying to figure out his next move, slowly going crazy because he misses solving mysteries. Regardless, I think John is going to be pissed when he realizes <laughs> Sherlock has been alive this whole time. But maybe he won't be kept in the dark for very long. I don't know. Either way, I'm enjoying this show a lot. It's definitely a lot of fun. And I hope you guys have been enjoying going on this journey with me and diving on into this show because it's it's really fun. It's really quirky. I enjoy it for all of the reasons that I've mentioned. But if, if I was getting nothing else out of this show, I would enjoy it just for the British humor and the British mannerisms displayed in this show. Because I don't know, I love Brits. I just do. Like... Y'all are so different from me as an American, but I really do appreciate y'all's sense of humor and just a lot of the quirks and mannerisms that come along with being British. I just, I don't know. I, it reminds me of my time when I studied abroad. And so like, I just genuinely enjoy diving on into this show. It is oddly comforting. If you guys did like watching this along with me, definitely make sure to give this video a thumbs up so that I know and I can watch more Sherlock in the future with all of y'all. Of course, let me know your suggestions for other shows and movies in the comments down below. Subscribe if you want to. And until the next one, stay golden. Bye.